What's up guys, welcome to the 30 C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Today I'm going to learn you about something called multi-dimensional arrays. And uh, well, it's um, a little bit hard to understand if uh, you, know, you don't get the right explanation or the explanation gets too complicated. So it's going to take some time and therefore I'll put the video on pause while um, entering the basic information. So um, let's get started. And uh, here comes the pause. And welcome back. So uh, now let's start declaring our multi multi-dimensional array. We're going to have a character array. It's going to be called the uh, alphabet uh, because I think it's good um, to uh, get a recap of the alphabet sometimes. You know, I can barely remember it. So uh, yeah, it's not that good. Um. So now we say you're free in the in the first square bracket. Now another square bracket. Say five. Set that equal to um. Let's see um. A. B. C. D. E. And uh, now before I start on another row, do you have any idea why there's one, two, three, four, five um, characters in this line? Well, that's because uh, the these um, ones uh, right here, these numbers actually represents the rows and the columns. So you know we say there are three rows, and we are this one is our first row. And in each row, there should be five characters. So this one is our second row. A, B, C, D, E, um, F. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, uh, I, J, I think. Um, and uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Okay, I suppose this right. And as you see, this is our second row right here. And again, it has five columns in it. So now we see our, our third and final row. A, B, C, D, E, K. L M N A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O and um, well that was actually that. Now we have as we told it there's three rows and five columns in each and every row. You see, one, oops, one, two, three, four, five. So, um, well, you might have noticed that you know there's two of these uh, curly brackets down here. That's because that uh, you have to um, start uh, these curly braces up here and then you end it down here. I don't know why you just can't have one, uh, you know, set of them. But um, well, I tried it before I started this tutorial. But uh, hey, they just gave me an error, so uh, I guess we just gotta deal with it. Now let's make it print out something. You go down here in the engine, you type C out, alphabet, um, two, five. Okay, so what we're saying here is that print out the fifth character. In the second row, and the second row is actually the last row, and that's because that you know it goes like this: zero, one, two. So actually, the second row is the last row, and zero, one, two, three, four. So well, this actually has to be changed to well, five is fine. Eh? 
as movement 5 is pi naturally. So now I just hit F9 to see what I mean. And we're going to save this as, um, we're going to save it as a uh, multi dimensional arrays. And holy shit, that is a long name. And now I get an error, of course. And that's because we forgot a comma. Embarrassing. But now it works. And as you see, it prints out nothing. And that is because I was wrong. It has to be 5 to print out the base character. So here it is 9 again. And now as you see, it says O. Oh. And that's because that we say print out, we say we're talking about the alphabet array. Print out the fourth character, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is O, in the 0, 1, 2, second row. So, which is actually the third row, but um, hey, that's where it is. So we uh, print out that, and that character is O, because if you go 1, no, 0, 1, 2 down, and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you end up at O, and that's exactly what it print out too. So if you try and say a zero here for the first row and um, zero, hit of nine, you see that it print out A. So um, actually, uh, I suppose you can figure out the rest. I'm going to take one more example, and then we're going to say one, which is the uh, first, or actually the second row, and we're going to take zero one, the third character which is H. So, um, actually I'm just going to uh, explain dimensional arrays one more time. Okay, so the first great thing we do is to declare a character array called alphabet and it has three rows and five characters in each and every row. And then as you see, this is the first row row 0 actually because you know the computer starts to count as 0 so this is row 0 and it has 5 characters in it A, B, C, D and E and then this is the second row or actually the first row and again because the computer starts to count as 0 and it's the first or second row this one has a, a zero. well blah, 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 I'm messing it up now well this is the second row let's just say it like that and it has 5 characters in it just like the first row and this is the uh, third row and it has five characters in it just like all of the other rows so when we say print out row or no character two in a uh, row one we say actually print out character three in row two because you know it starts to count as zero so this is the zero row that's why then we pre print out something in the first row we actually mean this row and print out character 2 that will be 0 1 2 and therefore it ends up at H so um well that was your tutorial on multi-dimensional arrays and I hope that you got it and uh, so um, I'll see you in my next tutorial